Hey, Sneaky Lens back today. Yes, I'm back again, back in the house. Right, today we have Salix Live 1337. Yes, I know 1337 has been around for a while, but this is the first of the new live ones. And all the f next ones that are going to come along are going to be based on this. So even though this one's XFCE, the GNOME, the KDE, etc., and the LXDE are all going to be based on this, basically. So it's the base, base. This is the build base, base, base. Yes, you know what I'm saying. So, although it's Salix Live, Okay, you can have a persistence install on a USB or anything if you want to, but I've actually installed this to the hard drive because you get a nice little snazzy installer now. Remember before it used to be like a little text-based uh, installer, now you get a nice GUI installer, which I can't actually show you because I've installed it, okay? I might do that another time if anybody asks for it, okay? So being XFCE, as you would expect, log out, time, files, workspaces, Ethernet, SME web browser, file system, terminal, manual and stuff like this on the desktop is all the usual two extras we've got the salix irc client or channel should we say and salix online okay so we're going to see salix online yes let's have a look first and you can see the release announcement okay so we'll open up our browser i was expecting this to be a bit quicker actually but hey kettle of fish in it <clears throat> this is the main page can okay, it tells you all about it and how to install it and what sort of sections they are, but we won't go into that. We're going to go down to news and announcements, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. And as you can see, this is one we're using here. Say it's live XFCE 1337. It's live, okay? It's the final release of Say it's live XFCE 1337, developing and testing lots of bits and bobs. It's available in 32 and 64 bit versions, and it has been for quite a while, so that's going to keep quite a lot of you busy and happy. Now, the main thing is that it's been built using salt. No, not the stuff in the kitchen. It's Salix Live Technology. It's a new system for building live CDs and stuff like that for Salix. So that's super duper in the house. Oh, yeah. And in their house, from their house. Right, some additions they've done here. G Part Information Partitions, Grub 2. And it is very nice, Grub 2, although I've done Lilo here for some reason. Anyway, they asked me to do Lilo. So, hey, Live Clone for creating your own live system CDs and USD and BBCDs and BBCDs. Persistence with a Remina for RDP servers, Windows and VirtualBox 4, and Salix Live Installer, which is the one I have used. <clears throat> and they've got lots of corrections they've done from the first alpha, which is quite a lot here. Now you can go and look at that yourself. I'm not going to do it for you, okay? But I will do the booker. Just see how it renders. Yeah, all right. Firefox, isn't it? So that should render super duper, duper whooper. Looks all right to me, yeah. Let's open up again. That was straight to BBC. So that was Google. There we go. Looks all right to me. Okay, that's fine. Right, while we're here, if I go up to multimedia, now it doesn't actually come with any codex for the simple reason some things are not quite legal around the rest of the world, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean, don't you? Of course you do. But we're going to install our multimedia codex while we'll have a look around as well. So I'm still multimedia codex, what's my password? So we put my password in, and that should do the business there. So multimedia codecs are patent encumbered and pose distribution problems in certain countries. Therefore, support for all codecs is not included by default, as I've just told you. But once you do this, you should be able to play your DVDs and MP3 files. No problemo. But obviously, if you're not allowed to, because you wouldn't want to break the law, would you? You better not do it, because it should be really bad. You wouldn't want to break the law, would you? But as I'm not breaking the law, I'm going to go yes. And it'll start retrieving all its packages from their repositories. So while he's doing that, <clears throat> excuse me, throatage, I'm going to go to a different window, okay? We'll go quickly through the menu for you, okay? Terminal File Manager Web Browser. I mean, you know it all before, but if you've not been watching my videos for very long, you might want to see it again, or you might not have looked at one of these before. Anyway, or well, I don't know what Salix is. So I've got accessibility, Adobe Flash Player, you can get the preferences for your Flash Player, Appearance, Desktop Display, File Manager, iBus, Java, Keyboard, Login, Photo, Window, and stuff like that, Multimedia, Selector, 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 and stuff like that. That's all in there. Now. Oh, all that there was. Okay. Accessories. Application Finder, as you, it's, all, it's all XFCE, so you should know it by now, but you know, I'm just going to quickly show it to you, so you know what Salix looks like. Comes with Genie as well. Do you like a bit of Genie though? You know what that is, isn't you? It's for text editing. There you go. Doing stuff and stuff like that. What else we got here? Graphics does come with a Gimpy, so you don't have to have anything else. So Gimpy actually comes as standard. 
simple scan, view noir and a document viewer. I'll open up Gimpy quickly for you. It's 2.6. I wish they gave to a new one. I don't do. But there might be one in the repos. Blimey up. Codex installation was successfully completed. Would you like to remove the codex installer from your system? Yes. Wobbity doo da. So that's all done. That was nice and quick, wasn't it? So in theory, so I said, in theory, if I put one in, it should work. Gimpy comes up nice and fine. That's fine by me. Okay. Next on the agenda is multimedia. Right, they're using Xhow as their audio player here. Parole as their media player, which I like, but oh, I'm not too sure of Excel sometimes. But Pit TV they're using as a video editor. Now, Pit TV isn't everybody's cup of tea, but it could be your cup of tea. You never know, do you? You never know. You just drag and drop. Then again, it's not the newest version. The newest version that I've seen is quite good, actually, but I've not got it on this system. Okay. So, under Office, you get the full Libra Office Suite. Oh, yes. Including Raj 2, okay. Under system, it's all the usual stuff here. You get a G Slap package manager, which is the graphical interface for their packages and managers. So if I quickly put my password in again, and I'll quickly show you. I don't want to keep this one too long, so you know it's been done before, but as it's a live one, it was just released. I thought I'd show you again before I have another rest, okay? Plenty in here, but there's plenty not in here as well. There are other ways of using different uh, packages and repo. Uh, Repo, should I say? What am I talking about? From repo, so you know you should be able to get extras anyway if they're not here. So if we go to where are we? If you go into preferences, you should be able to get stuff that you want to. Okay, and get some of stuff. All right. So yeah, and there they Salix Live thirteen thirty seven XFCE nice quick installs in about oh, four minutes if that runs as a beaut. Nicey, nicey, nicey. 85 out of 100. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.